Hey guys, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods and welcome back to another edition of the truth about SAM SFX Versa Thread. The SAM SFX Versa Thread, uh, you can get it on Amazon and I have a link to it down in the video description below if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, and today's color um, is going to be the brown and gold color um, that you see here. And uh, both the brown and the gold are both metallic. Um, and so this is gonna be, I think, kind of an interesting take um, on, this, uh, on this wrap. I think this is gonna look pretty interesting. And to be honest, I think it's going to be very similar or almost mimic kind of the red and gold uh, SAM SFX video that we did. Uh, and if you did not see that video, you can see it here in the upper right hand corner um, and watch that video there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, first of all, you can see kind of the irregular pattern between the gold and this metallic um, brown thread that's in there. So, you know, a bunch of different uh, links of gold within each part of that thread. So we're going to go ahead and get it started. As always, as I've been mentioning in all these videos, um, the SAM SFX thread uh, only comes in a size A um, and only comes with 80, excuse me, 65 yards um, on the spool. Unlike um, most other size A threads on a 100 yard spool, they're going to come in 100 yards. Again, uh, this thread here, this brand of thread only comes um, in 65 yards. So we're just going to go ahead uh, and wrap with this gold and brown metallic Versa thread and kind of see what we get out of this one. Um, brown being a bit darker than the red that we did before, um, but not as light as the green. Um, so this is going to be pretty interesting, um, you know, because gold can be, although gold is a bright color, gold can be dark, right? Um, so we're gonna, this will be interesting to see how this comes out. So what do you guys think so far? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you like it um, or do you hate it? Uh, or are you somewhere in between? Um, I have not made up my mind yet as we've only gone a little bit, a little bit over an inch here, but you can see the brown and the gold, you know, strands going downward, if you will. Kind of taking on that zebra slash tiger look. All right, get this cleaned up a little bit here. All right, there we go. Get my tension rod adjusted a little bit. All right. All right, so we are just over an inch and a half. So we'll keep wrapping this a little bit. All right. Yeah, I think it's very similar to the green, um, the green and gold and the red and gold. I think it's very similar. Um, 
you know, not only in pattern because it has the two colors, you know, just like the silver and black one did, but I think just because you can see each of these colors, you know, pretty distinctively, uh, and you can see the pattern that it makes, um, either whichever color you're focused on, whether it's the gold or the brown metallic. Um, so I think it's going to have that similar, you know, style and look to it as kind of the green and red, um, excuse me, the green and gold and the red and gold. So again, we're cruising. And so here you can start to see some lines popping in. I mean, you can see them before, but right here, I just noticed they started coming in a little bit more prominently. These brown lines coming downwards, straight lines coming straight down. All right, so we'll keep going a little bit more. Yeah, you can see them right there in the middle. Those brown lines are just kind of popping out a little bit more prominently, I guess. There's a couple other spots in the beginning where they were at as well, but. So. Yeah, so we'll go just a few more wraps and then we'll go ahead and tie this one off. And then we'll jump in over to our other experiment, if you will. Always remember, um, you know, anytime you're working with anything, any type of thread that's going to have multiple colors in it, um, you know, like a, you know, Pro Wrap VersaBlend thread, or again, like, you know, what we're using in this video, the SAM SFX Versa thread, um, you know, you always have to keep a couple things in mind when you're using it. One, it's never going to look like what it's looking, you know, you're never going to get the same pattern that I'm achieving right now, right? Uh, that I'm trying to demonstrate to you guys. Um, however, comma, the things that you always have to remember is what's going to contribute to the changing of the pattern is going to be the rod diameter of the rod that you or the diameter of the portion of the rod that you're wrapping. Um, and then if you're doing a long span of that rod, you have to take into consideration how quickly that rod tapers and the diameter gets smaller. That's going to cause your um, colors in your thread, regardless of the brand or the type you're using, if it's got multiple colors in it, as that rod diameter changes rapidly or slowly, it's going to affect how the colors within the thread lie next to themselves um, as you make the wrap. All right, so we go on ahead and tied that off, burnished it a little bit, made a cut, and then that's what our brown, our metallic brown and metallic gold thread um, looks like in this wrap here. So let's go ahead and give it another go. And we're gonna come over here to a tiger wrap. Um, and again, I'll do this quite quickly. I'm just trying to save you guys some time. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time dressing it up as if I would, you know, if I was actually doing a wrap on a rod for a build. So get this started. Get my burnishing tool involved here a little bit in the beginning. All right. And if you guys are getting something out of this video, um, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know that you find the video useful. Uh, and if there's something else that you'd like to see me do with these threads or any of the other types of threads, um, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, and, and I'll read the comments um, and I'll try to make it happen for you. I do read and respond to every comment that I receive from you guys. Except for a very small handful of comments, um, which... It doesn't mean I'm ignoring your um, post. It means I'm working on a solution to your post um, so or your comment. So just FYI. All right, so we're going doing this one quite quick. Uh, dragon scale wrap. And because you have the darker colors, the dragon scale pattern is there, but it doesn't pop out um, as much as the silver and black uh, SAM SFX thread we used 
Uh, and if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, you can watch it here uh, in the upper right hand corner. You're, uh, that one, you were definitely able to see that dragon scale pattern, uh, those triangles really, or excuse me, rectangles, you know, really popped out, that scale pattern popped out. And I, and I contribute that, I think, to the, um, to the silver thread that's within it, a, a much more lighter thread, of course, than gold um, and or this metallic brown. That being said, I do like this thread in a dragon scale wrap. This golden brown does look good, I think, um, in a dragon scale pattern. I think the dragon scale is just giving it a bit more depth. All right, so we're cruising right along. Come in here, burnish a little bit. Use my burnishing tool to pack it. Excuse me, not really burnishing it, but. Okay. All right, so what do you guys think so far about the dragon scale? If you like it, let me know down in the comments block or just hit the thumb, uh, hit the like button. And if you don't like it, uh, you know, let me know down in the comments block. All right, we're getting to the end. I'm just trying to pack it a little bit. All right, guys, we're getting down to the end. And we'll tie it off when we get down here to the end. But I think it's looking pretty good. Um, again, I, I like the dragon scale look, even though it's a little dark. Um, because of that brown, I, I, I do like it. All right, and again, just for the sake of time, I'm going quite quick here. Instructional purposes, if you will. All right, so we're going to go ahead and tie this one off. Um, all right, there we go. We'll go ahead and cut this thread. All right. We'll just pack this down a little bit. Tighten it up. Cut. All right. So... Here is our dragon scale wrap that we did quite quite fast. But you can see, you can still see the pattern in it um, that the dragon scale gives you. Um, it's just, again, it's a little dark because of that uh, brown color, that metallic brown. But I do think, um, I do think it looks good. And I think that dragon scale Below it will help give it some depth a little bit once you put your finish on there. Um, and then this, we compare this to the standalone wrap um, that we did with the thread. So just wrapping it on the, on the blank. So you can see the difference in what that dragon scale gives us and what it does to kind of the pattern. I don't think it's a drastic change um, as the black and silver one we previously did, but um, I do think it changes it a little bit, but in a good way. I think, I think it'll give it some depth, uh, and it'll, it'll be a good addition, 
um, to a, to a rod uh, if someone's building either dragon scale on an under wrap uh, or a standalone decorative wrap. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments block. Uh, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button um, and feel free to share the video with anyone you think that would find the video useful for themselves as well. Um, again, hey, I appreciate all your guys' support. Uh, make sure you watch this next video here. And until next time, guys, take care.